twin souls. Flames. The universe exists within its own laws and principles, which can be defined by science, revered by religion or remain an infinite enigma. One of the universe's principles is the law of polarity. Whether it may be light or dark, positive or negative, yin or yang, male or female, proton or electron, heaven or earth, sun or moon, alpha or omega, god or goddess the principle remains the same the duality comprised of contrary forces. The Japanese philosopher Michio Kushi described in his book The Book of Macrobiotics, the universal way to health, happiness and peace that the universal principles operate constantly in the eternal order of the infinite universe. He tells us that God and infinity are one in the same when the name of God is used, it is often misunderstood as a static personality, and when the term infinity is used, it is difficult for many people to comprehend. The infinity or God or source for all that is is neither a person nor a phenomenon, it is a universal oneness, embracing everything, every being every phenomenon and it is the endless universe itself. The universe does not remain in one state but is changing constantly transforming continuously, transmuting eternally from the beginningless beginning to the endless end. The infinite universe is a process of absolute dynamic change within which countless relative changes are arising everywhere in every dimension at all times. Yin and Yang are manifested continuously from the eternal movement of one universe. The movement of energy or vibration ultimately appears from these two polar tendencies yin and yang, which are antagonistic and complementary to each other. In turn, yin and yang are the primary manifestations of one infinity or the ultimate origin of all phenomena. Kirchhi further states that in the book of Genesis, we read, In the beginning, God created heaven and earth revealing that one infinity polarized itself into two complementary and antagonistic forces of yin and yang. Genesis then proceeds to describe the subsequent manifestations or transformations of energy resulting from this polarization, through the stages of vibration light and darkness subatomic particles the firmament or ionosphere above the earth the world of elements dry land and water finally reaching humanity as represented by Adam and Eve the first man and woman however according to Kushi Nothing is solely yin or yang and everything is composed of both tendencies in varying degrees. It is further verified by the universal yin and yang sign. The yin or dark half retains a seed of the yang or bright half and the yang or light half retains a seed of the yin or dark half. It is said that each and every soul has a spiritual counterpart or a twin that is their exact polar opposite. When the soul was created it was manifested in a god or goddess image from the infinite source. One twin polarized to the year or female side and one twin polarized to the male or yang side. Each of the twins retained a seed of their counterpart. These spiritual counterparts are linked together throughout eternity. Twin souls or flames embody a deep unconditional love that is eternal, 
pure and of the highest form. The Lug is divine in nature and is representative of the Lug that the universe evokes. It is said that through a gracious dispensation granted by the Creator, twin flames from all frequencies are reuniting again in order to restore the unity of all creations and to collapse duality. The twin soul theory is not a new concept it has existed for many centuries. Plato discussed twin souls in the symposium his philosophical writings on the nature of law around 385 BC. And the Sufis Sufism is a mystical tradition derivative of the Islamic religion refer to twin souls as sister souls in the Sufi text. It is believed by many that humanity is on the brink of a quantum leap in consciousness as our planet ascends from the third dimension to fifth dimension. It is inspiring enlightened individuals to assemble and take responsibility for the higher consciousness and for the earth. The Mayans predicted the end of the old reality to commence on December 21st. 2012. The Mayan calendar ends on that date. The famous Edgar Casey prophesied that by the end of the new age of Aquarius, we will become a completely telepathic civilization. This is a fifth dimensional state of being. Twin flames have a special contribution in the unification of the individual and at a planetary level. The concept of a twin flames should not be romanticized, as the union exists solely to attain servitude to the planetary, cosmic and universal consciousness. Love that is apparent in the third dimension has traditionally focused on the attention and emotions towards another person and originates on a sexual or personality level, often demanding persistent compromises to make the partnership work. The twin flame union would become a continual unified field with a gateway to the higher dimensional frequencies of oneness, inherently functioning as a single consciousness. It will not be dependent on the talents or vocations of either partner, it is the unit that is commissioned for service, not the individual expression of the unit. However, before an individual can meet and unite with their twin flame there is a myriad of work to enhance the consciousness, such as releasing, healing and becoming an integrated whole. The heart must be strong and resilient through suffering grief, pain and loss as well as experiencing many unified and loving soulmate relationships which would contribute to the intensity of being united with the other twin flame. The love correlation cannot exist in a codependent, ego-based relationship or from a perceived need that another person would make them whole and complete. Each half must initially balance their inner male and female energies before they can unite. A powerful resonant magnetic energy field, with a flow of total and unconditional love can attract twin flames, invoking a spiritual connection between the trinity or triad of the divine all that is and the twin flames, joined by their one soul and eagerly allied to God. When each twin has achieved an equivocal equilibrium and both res and eight to an identical vibration of the higher consciousness, the twin flame should automatically appear, as the Creator has orchestrated the union. It will happen because the twin flames have been sealed irrevocably together from the moment of their creation. 
Interesting synchronicities can often pave the way to a reunion, which often involve the numbers 1111, which are common in twin flame soul unions. 11 is considered to be a master number and is thought to be the number of the spiritual messenger. Two ones are united to form pillars to the heavenly gate. The connection between yin and yang, female and male. The significance of two into one is the perfect symbol for a twin flame. If twin flames happen to meet when they are in a loving relationship or a marriage, it is unwise to disrupt any present connections. The energies must first be dismantled and balanced before the twin flames can freely come together. However twin flames should continue to work together at an energetic level. Perceiving that the Earth would be moving ultimately into a fifth dimensional alignment, all twin flames would be reunited in other dimensions. The meeting of another twin flame calls upon the individual to grow spiritually, heal emotionally, mentally and physically and to look beyond the ego, physical limitations and age differences physical appearance has little or nothing to do with a pairing. Twin souls do not necessarily look alike. Many seem to be complete opposites such as brunette with blonde, blue eyes or brown eyes, thick hair or thin hair, large bone or small boned. But the twin souls that do resemble each other seem to have a common ancestry. Even if it's only from one side of either family it is also common that many twin souls have their sun signs in the same element. The elements and signs are Air Gemini Libra Aquarius Fire Aries Leo, Sagittarius, Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Twin souls are destined to meet when a personal planet is in progression to the sun or moon or midpoint on each natal chart. The numbers 6, 9, 15, 24, 27 are frequently part of the birthdays and twin souls can often meet on any of those days. When twin flames connect, they generate a vortex of energy that could be seen as a light in the darkness of society's consciousness. With the implementation the whole becomes greater than the sum of its parts. The two create three and the third becomes a very potent force. A force of light and love at an extremely pure level. The energy combined from both twins is different from that of individuals. It is a special offering that the twins give to each other and expend in their service to humanity. Out of the darkness light will emanate illuminated by an increased number of flames. Each flame represents the conscious and harmonious relationship between twin souls. As the twins multiply there will be a multitude of flames, an abundance of light and a profusion of energy on the planet which would act as a catalyst and help to effectuate the expected breakthrough in consciousness.